Johnny presents the new Philip Morris show, starring Dinah Shore, Harry James, and Johnny Mercer. Call for music, and for America's finest cigarette. Of all leading cigarettes, Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists as definitely less irritating. No other cigarette can make that statement. It's the Philip Morris Call for Music, a musical report on what's new this week in show business. And here's Dinah! That's the way they go. Three brothers down in Rio had a noisy family trio. Three pickles that sounded mighty shrill. But their papa called it music, so with his dough they planned the big brass band from Brazil. Then soon they sent to Cuba for some trumpets and a tuba. They figured that their relatives had skill. Papa's ears are stuffed with cotton, but still he thinks they're grand. The big brass band from Brazil. Oh, they practiced all night long, but they've only learned one song. So they play that same old phrase. Seven different ways. That big brass band from Brazil is making a lot of noise around the country, fellas. Sure is, Dinah. We give it a big play every weekend at the Aragon. Mr. James, will you favor us with the Rio de Janeiro riff? Si, si, senor Mercer. Okay, boys. Give me lots of oomph from the oompas, lots of peaks from the piccolos, but not so much flug from the flugel horn. Uno, dos. <laughs> Friday night quilt and bee singing society and taffy pool. You in good voice tonight, Mr. Johnny Mercer? My frog just sprayed his throat. <laughs> What's with you in the van, Harry James? Well, as per usual, the songs that are making news this week are the songs we're going to bring you on Call for Music. Yep, there's an old waltz by Irving Berlin getting a big play. Give a listen and see if you don't think it's going to be a hit again. What will I do when you are far? I am blue What will I do? What will I do When I am wondering Who is kissing you? What will I do? What will I do with joy? When I'm alone with only dreams of you that won't come true. 
What will I do? can't sing, Dinah. Oh, sure you can. Sing out with some good advice about Philip Mars. <laughs> okay. Friends, sometime tomorrow, thousands of you who are listening to me now will be buying cigarettes. Tomorrow, as always, you'll have a choice. You can ask for any one of a dozen different brands, or you can ask for Philip Morris. I'd like to tell you why you're better off, far better off, if your choice is Philip Morris. And I'd like to tell it to you, not in my words, but in words written by one of America's top-ranking doctors, an eminent nose and throat specialist. Listen to what the doctor had to say. There is no doubt in my mind that Philip Morris cigarettes are much less irritating than other cigarettes. And now listen to the doctor's conclusion. We would be neglecting our patients who smoke if we did not suggest that they smoke Philip Morris. Remember, if your cigarette leaves your throat dry and parched, if it makes you cough or leaves a stale, musty taste in your mouth, these definitely are reasons for a change to Philip Morris. So join the thousands who every day are joining the millions who call for Philip Morris. And remember, of all leading cigarettes, the superiority of Philip Morris and only Philip Morris is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists. No other cigarette can make that statement. <laughs> decorating the dance halls mostly in one color this year, and that color is blue. You know, there's a funny thing about the blues, Diana. Mm -hmm. They're all based on the same 12-bar phrase. Yeah, that's right, Harry. And probably the most famous blues ever written was St. Louis Blues by W.C. Handy. He takes one phrase, and he makes it go like this. I hate to see that evening sun go down. I hate to see that evening sun go down. Yeah, and then farther along in the tune, he gives it a break like this. Oh, I love that gal like a schoolboy loves his pie. Like an old Kentucky colonel loves his rock and ride. And then he takes the same thing and he turns it inside out again. Sure, Harry, will you? We're listening. Well, that wasn't really the St. Louis Blues, that was the suburb. <laughs> to stop there, but what we wanted to demonstrate was that it all fits over the same easy set of chords that never really changed. And it's interesting things happen, though, Diana, when you throw the old-time blues against a different rhythm. Uh, like, for instance, the rumba? And why not? Ah, uh, that's it. Maybe we got a new recipe. You take one part rumba and add one part blues. Then add one part dinosaur, shake well, and stir. Early in the morning and I can't get right Had a little date with my baby last night And now it's early in the morning Mmm, it's early in the morning Early in the morning and I ain't 
ain't got nothing but the blues. Went to all the places where we used to go. Even went to his house, but he don't live there no more. And now it's early in the morning. Yes, it's early in the morning. Early in the morning and I ain't got nothing but the blues. Of money when I started out. Couldn't find my baby now, my money's all run out, and now it's early in the morning. Yes, it's early in the morning. Early in the morning, and I ain't got nothing but the blues. Early in the morning, and I ain't. That's the say the blues I like to listen to, Dinah. That's the funny thing about the blues. They're hard to get down on paper. You gotta feel the blues. You're so you right. You can't just get them off the shops and flats from the Boston Conservatory. You certainly can't, but when somebody dreams up a fancy arrangement for a full orchestra, that's when the blues really passes over into the concert idiom. Would you care to clarify this point, Dr. James? Well, I don't know what y'all are talking about, Dinah, but we're going to play the trumpet blues. <laughs> You know, Donna, there's somebody I feel awful sorry for in the music business. Who do you mean, Johnny? Well, nobody knows what her name is. They just call her Ballerina. Yeah, you know, I feel awful bad about that gal. She's out there every night kicking her heels in the ballet, and her boyfriend can't even bother to catch her racks. That's pretty sad. 
Yeah, that poor ballerina keeps holding the seat for him in the second row, and he won't even come in and eat a sack of popcorn. Ah, uh, but she keeps right on, we on the way. She's flying all over the place. <laughs> the show must go on. This is your moment, girl. Try to forget your aching heart, even if he isn't there. <laughs> Hey, why don't we try to cheer up this chick? Yeah. Yeah, let's get her mind off of trouble. Come on, ballerina. Let's flip. Dance, ballerina, dance. Oh, dance. Make with the pirouettes and never mind the aching heart. Dance, ballerina. France, dance. Friends. Oh, dance. You mustn't let that joker overturn the apple car. Dance, ballerini. Kick, ballerini, kick. Oh, kick. Just ignore the chair, the champion, the second row. Kick, ballerini. This is your moment, chick. Oh, chick. So just forget the square who didn't come to dig the show. Get with it. Carve a rug. And don't be feeling blue. Boop, bop, boop, bop. You never love that love. Oh no. Get your party due. It's falling through. Doo, doo, Cause doo, you're a gone ballerina gone. Real gone. So get a real gone guy to hang around behind the scene. Gone ballerina. Dance on and on and on. Real gone. But find a fellow who can show you how to do a little Susie Q and ballerina girl. Treat him mean. Shout, ballerini. Swing out, ballerini. Bop, bop, ballerini. Re-bop, he-bop, she-bop, we-bop. Turn, ballerini. Turn, ballerini. Don't burn, ballerini. Ain't you had your fill of Agnes and Mill? Under shot cock with the tour je tape. Under shot with the ensemble. Arabesque pirouette grand forte. That's the way they talk when they talk ballet. Hey! What ballerini? Get hot ballerini. Oh, my ballerini. If this ballerini don't get off her toes, she's going to be flat-footed without a man. Dance. Ooh. Dance, ballerini. Dance, ballerini. Dance. Well, you sure fixed up ballerina, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> It's your turn to do some fixing, Jack Rourke. How about some news from Philip Mars? Right, Dinah. Friends, remember the words of the eminent nose and throat specialist whose statement you heard a little while ago? We would be neglecting our patients who smoke if we did not suggest that they smoke Philip Morris. Yes, there's a difference in Philip Morris that distinguishes it from any other leading brand. And to you, that difference means a cleaner smoke, a fresher, milder smoke than you've ever known before. Remember, of all leading cigarettes, the superiority of Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists. No other cigarette can make that statement. Sweeping down the plain, and the wave and we can sure smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. Oh, the home where every night my honey lamb and I sit alone and talk and watch a hawk making lazy circles in the sky. Johnny Mercer, what time is it in New York right now? Let me see. Right now, quick. Oh, it's about 20 minutes past 10, okay, Donna. Pretty good. You know, that means that right now, right this very minute, at the St. James Theater in New York, the curtain is going up on the second act of the longest-running show on Broadway. Oklahoma? Oklahoma. And this week, Oscar Hammerstein and Richard Rogers are getting ready to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Oklahoma on Broadway. 
but for you folks who haven't had a chance to see it yet, Philip Morris calls for music from Oklahoma. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye And it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky Oh, what a beautiful morning Oh, what a beautiful day I got a beautiful remembers this ballad from Oklahoma, and I never get tired of hearing people will say we're in love, especially the way that Harry James fellow plays it. Dinah, everything in Oklahoma dates back to the turn of the century. Are uh, you sure? It goes back to the days before the stream hotliners and the uh, flying machines. So if a fellow wanted to go someplace with his girl, this was the way he had to do it. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry when I take you out in the Surrey. When I take you out in the Surrey with the fringe on top. Watch that fringe and see how it flutters When I drive them high-stepping strutters Nosy folks will peep through the shutters And their eyes will pop 
The wheels are yellow. The upholstery is brown. The dashboard's genuine leather. With fiberglass curtains, you can roll right down in case there's a change in the weather. Two bright side lights winking and blinking. Ain't no fine a rig I'm a thinking. You can keep your rig if you're thinking at a kid. To swap fur that shiny little surrey with a fringe on top. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Let's go all the world of fly in the furry. When I take you out in the surrey. When I take you out in the surrey with the fringe right. And when we hit that road, help a leather. Cats and dogs will dance in the heather. Birds and frogs will sing all together. And the toads will hop. Yes, sir, pop. The wind will whistle as we rattle along. The cows will moo in the clover. The river will ripple out a whispered song. And whisper it over and over. Don't you wish it'd go on forever? Don't you wish you'd go on forever? Don't you wish you'd go on forever and it'd never stop? In that shiny little surrey with the fringe on the top. people will say we're in love just a few minutes ago and it's so pretty that I feel like I just have to sing a few bars of it too don't sigh and gaze at me your sighs are so like mine your eyes mustn't glow like mine about this time we'll be tying the ribbon around another bundle of music for you we don't know what'll be in that bundle in fact we don't have much of anything to say about the songs that go into this call for music program because no matter how harry or johnny or i may like a song you listeners have the final say so on whether or not it's a hit sometimes the biggest tunes for the most famous composers just don't ring the bell and then a little piano player from a little midwest hotel scratches out a song on the back of a menu and it sweeps the country has anybody got a menu handy? <laughs> Are you hungry, Johnny? Well, I might be if I don't write a new song pretty soon. Well, don't forget we'll be getting together this next week around the same old piano and the boys with the brass button make with the call. This is Johnny again, returning now to the thousands of store windows and counters all over America. Look for me. I'll be waiting for you. Come in and call for Philip Murray. For a cleaner, fresher, milder smoke, join the millions who call for Philip Morris, America's finest cigarette. Yes, from now on... Call for Philip Morris! This is Dinah saying so long for Harry James, Johnny Mercer, and all our gang on Call for Music. See you next Friday. Call Hello, hello, testing, one, two, three, four, five, that's it, five. Pipe smokers, try Revelation pipe tobacco, a smooth blend of five tobaccos. Yes, relax, take five, take Revelation, a fine pipe tobacco. This is Jack Rook saying be sure to listen next week to Call for Music, starring Dinah Shaw, Harry James, and Johnny Mercer. <laughs> This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.
Johnny presents the new Philip Morris show, Call for Music. Call for Dinah Show. You gotta accentuate the positive, don't mess with Mr. In-Between. And for America's finest cigarette... <laughs> Make no mistake. Of all leading cigarettes, Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists as definitely less irritating. No other cigarette can make that statement. And here's Dinah! I'm just wild about Harry, and Harry's wild about me. The heavenly blisses of his kisses fill me with ecstasy. He's sweet just like chocolate candy, and just like honey from a bee. Oh, I'm just wild about Harry. And he's just wild about he can't do without he's just wild about me. I want you to feel left out, Mr. Mercer. I'm really wild about Johnny, too. Well, thanks for including me in. Oh, that's okay. Say, a lot of folks want to know how we get a balance between sweet and hot on this call for music show. Why, that's easy. Each of us likes a certain kind of music. That's right, Harry. I figure it's this way. Which way is that now? I'm just wild about sweet tunes. <laughs> and Harry's wild about hot. You keep on fighting. I'll stick to writing and take anything you've got. But when I'm blowing the trumpet, sweet as honey from a high, makes a light. So could be I like the sweet tunes, and Dinah's is wild about. I'm a child about. She's just wild about jive. Oh, Dinah, Harry's mad about it. Johnny's mad about it. Dinah's mad about the blues. But we are wild, absolutely wild. Hello, everybody. Harry, Johnny, and I are calling for music again. The whole nation is calling for the old-time tunes, Dinah. Yep, it seems like a song hasn't got a chance these days. Unless it was written in the Coolidge administration. Well, it, it wouldn't break my heart one bit to hear this old one come back. I get along without you very well. Of course I do. Of course I do. Except when soft winds fall. And drip from leaves, and I recall the thrill of being sheltered in the arms. Of course I do. Of course I do. But I get along without you very well. I forgot you. Just like I should, of course I have, of course I have, except to hear your name, or someone's laugh that is the same, but I've forgotten you just like I should, what a guy. What a fool am I To think my breaking heart Could kid the moon What's in store Should I fall once more No It's 
best, but I stick to my truth. I got along without you. But I should never think of spring, for that would surely break my heart in two. You look like you have something on your mind. I do, Dinah. Something mighty important. Well, for heaven's sakes, tell us about it. To you who have been smoking for years, and to you who are just beginning to smoke, the words you're about to hear are more important, more authoritative than any you've ever heard about cigarettes. For these words were written by one of America's top-ranking doctors, an eminent nose and throat specialist who knows the scientific facts about smoking. Listen to what the doctor had to say. There is no doubt in my mind that Philip Morris cigarettes are much less irritating than other cigarettes. And now listen to the doctor's conclusion. We would be neglecting our patients who smoke if we did not suggest that they smoke Philip Morris. Remember, if your cigarette leaves your throat dry and parched, if it makes you cough or leaves a stale, musty taste in your mouth, these definitely are reasons for a change to Philip Morris. So join the thousands who every day are joining the millions who have already discovered that a change to Philip Morris is a change to a better cigarette, a finer cigarette, a cigarette of proved superiority. Remember, of all eating cigarettes, the superiority of Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists. No other cigarette can make that statement. I keep getting asked the same question over and over again. Why, I thought they'd quit asking after you married George Montgomery. Why, sorry, God. Well, honey, child. That's not the question I meant at all. It seems that all the talented young people I meet want to know how to get started in show business. Well, how did you get started, Diana? Well, when I was about 12 years old back in Nashville, I got an offer to sing, professionally, mind you, at a place called The Pines. My folks said no, emphatically no. But nothing was going to stop little Dinah. No siree. I swiped my sister's best yellow dress, smeared some of her rouge and lipstick on my face, and stepped into the spotlight to sing Under a blanket of blue Just you and I beneath the stars Wrapped in the arms of sweet romance The night is ours under a blanket of blue Let me be thrilled by all your charms Darling, I know my heart will... Dinah, what happened? Well, uh, that's as far as I got that night. I never finished the song. You see, I spotted my mother and father sitting in the audience. The result... One career slightly suspended. <laughs> well, how about you, Johnny? When did you make your start as a singer? Oh, I was an actor on Broadway, legitimate theater, you know. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> Definitely. Then I got to speak in lines in front of an orchestra. Folks thought it was singing, and I haven't had the heart to disillusion them. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, sing us your first song, hmm? Sure. Lazy bones, sleeping in the sun. How you expect to get your day's work done? You never get your day's work done. Sleeping in the noonday sun. When taters need spring, I bet you keep praying the bugs fall off of the vine. And when you go fishing, I bet you keep wishing 
the fish don't grab at your line. You a lazy boy loafing through the day. How you expect to make a dime that way? You never make a dime that way. Well, look at you. He never heard a word I say. Oh, Johnny, that's wonderful. Say, Harry, how did you start your career as a trumpet player? As a drummer. As See, a when I was, yeah, as a drummer. When I was a little kid back in Beaumont, Texas, I sneaked into a circus tent and joined the band. You must have scared the seals half to death. A star is born in Beaumont, Texas. Master Harry James, circus drummer, age four. Our present. What do you say? Harry, tell us, what's the big news in the band business tonight? <laughs> well, Diana, the boys with the long hair have invaded our music stands. A classical composition has become one of the nation's favorites wherever pop bands play. Oh, I see. Call for music calls for Harry James' treatment of the saber dance. <laughs> by Mendelssohn, Diana. This is the 1948 way of saying howdy to the buds and flowers. Oh, well, it goes the same for the birds and the bees. Say howdy for me, too. All right. A dicky bird whispered, haven't you heard? Spring is here, spring is here, spring is here. A little crow sang a happy hello, my favorite time of the year. A little frog sang a song on his log, lose your blues, lose your blues, lose your blues. And you and I fell in love and replied On hearing the dicky bird's news If you have to look around to find a reason For such a wonderful thing You can blame it on the sentimental season Falling in love is done in the spring A wonderful thing 
the Bob Lake Looked at us with a wink At a boy, at a girl, nothing's wrong When you're in love, you'll go swinging along Singing a Dickie Bird song Bring his ears, bring his ears, bring his ears, bring his ears what the weatherman said A dicky bird whispered Haven't you heard Spring is here Spring is here Spring is here A little crow sang a happy hello My favorite time of the year A little frog sang a song on his lawn The apple did a triple A trill On hearing the dicky bird's news and the cuckoo sang a cuckoo to the blue little jay With all the lark in the park Who responded, how'd you do and how were you, Jay? How would you like to go for a lark? After dark The bobolink said, I think what I think Winter's on, winter's on, winter's on The dicky bird said, I give you my word It ain't gonna snow anymore Winter's gone, winter's gone, winter's gone. That's a Dickie Bird song of spring. What a wonderful thing. You know, above the first bar of every song, an important direction is written. Sometimes it says moderato or legato. Sometimes they skip the Italian and just write sing in a happy frame of mind. But the direction that we've always liked is pianissimo, which means very softly as if we were singing it in your ear. The melody was playing pianissimo. The harmony was so very sweet. I can't remember the name of the song, but I do remember dancing in your arms. And then a voice came through, pianissimo, with lovely words that seemed to repeat. I Love you, darling, but all I recall are the words you whisper dancing in my arms. Pianissimo means soft and low, and soft and low were your sighs. Darling, now I know tender glow was love shining in your eyes and then we stole away pianissimo and kissed goodnight while stars danced above I can't remember the name of that Recall it had to fall in love. And this and more means soft and low. And soft and low were your side. Darling, now I know that tender glow was love shining in. And kiss goodnight while stars danced above. I can't remember the name of that song, but I do recall it helped us fall in love.
I still think that's a tune Spike Jones ought to play real loud. <laughs> oh, I think it was very lovely, Diana. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. But what I have to say can't be said pianissimo. Of course not, Jack. Say it fortissimo, loud and clear. Friends, remember the words of the eminent nose and throat specialist whose statement you heard a little while ago? We would be neglecting our patients who smoke if we did not suggest that they smoke Philip Morris. Yes, there's a difference in Philip Morris that distinguishes it from any other leading brand. And to you, that difference means a cleaner smoke, a fresher, milder smoke than you've ever known before. Remember, of all leading cigarettes, the superiority of Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists. No other cigarette can make that statement. <laughs> Mr. Show Business himself is making news this week. Hundreds of theater marquees are once more spelling out the name of Eddie Cantor. And when we see his new picture, If You Knew Susie, we think of all the wonderful songs that Eddie's made famous. Harry and Johnny and I'd like to help you remember a few of them. How about this one? Another bride, another groom, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason for making whoopee. The choir sings, here comes the bride, another victim is by her side he's lost his reason cause it's the season for making whoopee down through the countless ages you'll find it everywhere somebody makes good wages Somebody wants her share She calls him toodles And rolls her eyes She makes him strudel And bakes him pies What is it all for? It's so he'll fall for Megan Whoopi all those daughters, Mr. Cantor has a few musical daughters to boot. Oh, I should say he has wonderful, wonderful daughters, like Margie. Sing about it, Johnny. All right. Hey, Margie, I'm always thinking of you, Margie. I'll tell the world I love you. Don't forget your promise to me. I have bought a home and ring and everything for Margie. You've been my inspiration, day. I'll never blue. After all is said and done, there is only one Margie, Margie, it's you. Say, uh, we mustn't forget Mrs. Cantor. That other gal in Eddie's life. I'll bet even Eddie won't recognize Ida, all dressed up in this old red Nichols arrangement. <laughs>
A lot of gags about Eddie Cantor's five daughters. The truth of the matter is that Eddie has thousands of kids because he knows that the business he loves can only go on if the youngsters get a break. I was one of those lucky people Eddie took a chance on. So I'd like to say thank you, Eddie, dear, from coast to coast. Thank you, Mr. Show Business. Now, uh, who'd like to sing Eddie's most famous tune if you knew Susie? Well, I'll take a crack at it. Oh, you're a brave boy. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a gal. How am I doing? Say, uh, maybe that'd sound better on a trumpet. How about letting me try it? Right. Uh, uh, uh. That's pretty and everything, but you see, I worked with Eddie, and I must say he does it more like this. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a girl. There's none so classy as this fair lassie, oh, 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 my goodness, what a chance Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is my bread and butter. Why can't I sing if you knew Susie? Eddie! <laughs> known as Susie. In the words of Shakespeare, she's a wow. Though all of you may know her too, I'd like to shout right now. If you do Susie like I know Susie. Oh, 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 what a girl. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, 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 my goodness, what a chassis. I had a mustache as cute as a pup. Up if you do, Susie, like I know Susie. Oh, oh, what a girl! Cleaner, fresher, milder smoke. Join the millions who call for Philip Morris, America's finest cigarette. Yes, from now on. Call for Philip Morris. This is Dinah again. A large proportion of the nation's schools still face serious handicaps. A shortage of qualified teachers, overcrowded classrooms, obsolete school buildings. So join with local civic groups and school boards to improve educational conditions. So long for now from Harry James, Johnny Mercer, and myself. And thanks a lot, Eddie. Bless you. See you all next Friday. Till then. Hello, hello. Testing one, two, three, four, five. That's it, five. Pipe smokers, try Revelation pipe tobacco, a smooth blend of five tobaccos. Yes, relax. Take five. Take Revelation of fine pipe tobacco. This is Jack Rourke saying be sure to listen next week to Call for Music, starring Dinah Shore, Harry James, and Johnny Mercer. It's CBS Columbia Broadcasting System. It's a wonderful, wonderful feeling to wake up fresh with no cigarette hangover. Johnny presents Call for Music. Call for Dinah Show. La-dee-da-da-da. -da -da.
Gotta accentuate the positive, don't mess with Mr. In Between. And for America's finest cigarette. Yes, you'll be glad tomorrow you smoked Philip Morris today. Because of all leading cigarettes, Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists as definitely less irritating. No other cigarette can make that statement. And here's Dinah. You were meant for me. Oh, Dinah, sweet Dinah. I was meant for you. Oh, Dinah, sweet, sweet Dinah. Nature patterned you, and when she was done, what did you do? You were all the sweet things rolled into one. You're like a plane. That never lets me free You're gonna be happy I'm content The angels must have sent you And they met you just for me Dinah, doesn't that sound kind of formal to you With all the pronouns in the right places? Mm Mm-hmm, so educated Let's try grading it down a tone, Harry Why, kiddies, we're practically in kindergarten right now Let's go Here we go we are mad for she admits that love is blind, but he's the really peachy kind. Then plus I make three and four is twenty nine, and will you be my valentine? Nature never planned two hymns for one her. But if that she's for us, she's who we're first. We're like a trio of by Box to box and back to back, I hope you got an ending, Jack. Con brio with the Rock and ride, how are you? And call for Philip Morris, too. We're content that grammar is for me, and we're afraid that so are we. Did the gal ever have two nicer fellas to help her answer your call for music? The young man with the horn, Harry James, and the young man with the throat full of gravel, our own Johnny <laughs> Mercer. And Dinah, the call for music right now is addressed special delivery rush. Do not wait Ooh. to Miss Dinah Shaw. Good. The folks all over the USA are asking for, but beautiful. Oh, but fine. Or it's quiet Or it's mad It's a good thing Or it's bad But beautiful Beautiful To take a chance And if you fall You fall And I'm thinking I wouldn't mind at all Love is tearful or it's gay It's a problem or it's play It's a heartache either way And I'm thinking if you were mine, I'd never let you go. And that would be but beautiful.
When your cigarette leaves your throat dry, hot, uncomfortable, remember... That's cigarette hangover. When your cigarette leaves a stale, musty, smoked-out taste in your mouth, remember... That's cigarette hangover. And that's when it's time to call for Philip Morris. Here's why. Cigarette hangover is a symptom of irritation. And Philip Morris is the one cigarette proved definitely less irritating than any other leading brand. That fact is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists all over America. No other cigarette can make that statement. Friends, as long as there's a choice, doesn't it make good sense to choose the one cigarette that gives you a milder smoke, a fresher, cleaner smoke than you've ever known before? Yes, call for Philip Morris. And remember, you'll be glad tomorrow you smoked Philip Morris today. Bright, beautiful notes spell out something really fine on our Philip Morris call for music marquee. It's the movie Casbro with one of the nicest scores ever. I wish to announce at this time that throughout the entire production that follows, there will not be anyone saying, come with me to the Casbro. Let me shake your hand, Mr. Mercer. In appreciation of your fine stand, you lead off. Well, hooray for me and hooray for love. <laughs> Of love, hooray for love Who is ever too blase for love Make this a night for love If we have to fight, let's fight for love Some sigh and cry for love Ah, but in fatty they die for love Some waste away for love Just the same hooray for love Kings lose their thrones for love. Lovers disconnect their phones for love. There's more to say for love, but for now, hooray, 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 for love. Some trust to fate for love. Others have to take off way for love. Some go berserk for love. Loafers even go to work for love. Sad songs are stopped for love. People have their noses bob for love. Some way we pay for love. Just the same hooray, hooray for love. Harry, everybody's waiting for you to tell them about the tune you picked from Casper. Well, it's one that asks an awful big question, Dinah. I don't know the answer, but I do know the tune. Oh, I think I know what the man means. He's asking, what's good about goodbye?
beautiful hand. Let's see now, one for Johnny, one for Harry, and one for me. And have you gathered the impression somewhere that I'm a lady who loves the blues? Well, Sir Caswell's got a tune in the key of indigo that's just about my size, I hope. For every man there's a woman For every life there's a plan And wise men know it was ever so Every Joe, there's a Joan, and if you wait, you will meet the maid born for you alone. Happy to be your own. What's humming in Hollywood? And for what the dancers are demanding, the man who knows is that fella, Harry Teams. Well, like everywhere else with the people on the Aragon dance floor here, some of the newest tunes are the oldest. And here's one from the day before yesterday that's doing awful good today. Oh, good. We're calling for music from Harry James. So, Harry, rise and shine. <laughs> Thank you. 
month or so, Johnny Mercer's been getting up to the mic and putting on his funny hat and yellow shoes and mail order jacket and giving us music strictly country style. Fine fun, but we got to thinking there's some Mercer music that nobody, but nobody but our Johnny can do. Well, Mr. M., what do you say? How about on the not away road? Will you twist my arm a little? Oh, he's so shy. There, I'm a twisting. Okay, I'm singing. Plodding, plodding. Old Betsy's head keeps a nodding, nodding. Old Betsy's hooks are a kicking up the dust along the road. All in a load down the not away road. Creaking, creaking. Old wagon wheels keep a squeaking, squeaking. Grown in a tune while the crickets sing their song. Go long, go long. All in a load down the not away road. Got to get a load of hay to town Hurry back before the sun goes down Smoke in the chimney as we climb the hill Round evening time, round evening time. Old Betsy hurries going past the mill. Round evening time, round evening time. I can hear the dogs bark as I open up the gate. Ain't missed meeting me yet. And the lights through the dark say you'd better not be late. Supper table is set. Night is creeping, creeping. I'll bet old Betsy is sleeping, sleeping. Dreaming away of another dusty day. To toil away, hauling a load down the not away road, hauling a load down the not away Cigarette hangover. Cigarette hangover. Cigarette hangover. Yes, when you've smoked the night before and you wake up the morning after with a stale, musty, smoked-out taste in your mouth, a dry, tight feeling in your throat, and no appetite, that's cigarette hangover. And, brother, when that happens to you, it's time to change to Philip Morris. Here's why. Cigarette hangover is a symptom of irritation. And Philip Morris is the one cigarette proved definitely less irritating than any other leading brand. That fact is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists all over America. No other cigarette can make that statement. Remember, if you're tired of cigarette hangover, tired of that musty, smoked-out taste in your mouth, that dry, tight feeling in your throat, change to a milder, fresher, cleaner smoke. Yes, change to Philip Morris. And remember, you'll be glad tomorrow you smoked Philip Morris today. Right along in here, Johnny and Harry and I figured on doing a number together. But when we started talking... We got into that ever-loving, everlasting musician whirlwind known as picking a tempo. Deciding just what speed to use. Now, you see, I figured it ought to go in a nice sort of slow blues. 
And in my book, it just eased over into second gear. Whereas it was perfectly clear to me that it ought to jump from the very first note. We couldn't all be wrong, so we decided we're all right. One tune, three tempos. We're stepping on the starter right now. Do I want you, oh my, do I, honey? Take it over. All right. Like it. <laughs> Pick it up a little bit. I'm glad that I'm the one who found you. That's why I'm always hanging around you. Do I love you? Oh, my, do I? Honey, indeed I do. Anita Flash has to say here. I'm glad that I'm the one who found you. That's why I'm always hanging around you. Do I love you? Oh, my, do I? Honey, did I do? for music, there's one call that you just can't pin down. Maybe this song is not the best seller of best sellers. Maybe it isn't making more nickels in the coin machines than any other. Maybe you haven't even heard this song for months and months. But it's such a warm and lovely song, we thought you might like to hear it just once more. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraces all day through in that small cafe apart across the way the chair In everything that's light and gay, I'll always think of you that way. I'll find you in the morning sun, and when the night is new, I'll be looking at the moon. But I'll be seeing you. I'll find you in the morning sun, and when.
but I'll be seeing you. This is Johnny again, reminding you if you're tired of cigarette hangover, Call for the one cigarette that gives you a milder, fresher, cleaner smoke. Yes, call for Philip Morris. Yes, if every smoker knew what Philip Morris smokers know, they'd all change to Philip Morris. This is Donna saying goodnight for Johnny Mercer, Harry James, and myself. See you next Tuesday, same time, same station. And don't forget to listen in Sunday night when Johnny presents Philip Morris Night with Horace Height. Until then... Hello, hello, testing, one, two, three, four, five, that's it, five. Pipe smokers, try Revelation Pipe Tobacco, a smooth blend of five tobaccos. Yes, relax, take five, take Revelation, a fine pipe tobacco. This is John Holbrook saying be sure to listen next week to Call for Music, starring Dinah Shore, Harry James, and Johnny Mercer. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.